Lombardy, land of innovation, technology and industry with a unique natural and artistic heritage. The current name Lombardy comes from the medieval term Longobardia, used in Byzantine Italy to denote the part of the peninsula dominated by the Longobards. The NATO Rapid Deployable Corps has its headquarters in this area. The unit, created in 2001, reports to the Supreme Allied Commander for Europe and is ready to be deployed at short notice to any part of the world to face any type of crisis. The Ugo Mara Barracks at Solbiate Olona in the province of Varese is the operational centre of the command structure and the support brigade. While the institutional centre is located in Palazzo Cusani in the centre of Milan. Additionally, the 1st Signals Regiment is lodged at the Montello and Santa Barbara Barracks in Milan. The choice of Lombardy was a strategic decision by the national authorities because it lies at the centre of the system of airports, rail networks and motorways in northern Italy, with the airports of Malpensa and Linate, the port of Genoa and the rail hub of Milan. These allow the Corps to transfer itself and its components to any areas of crisis rapidly. Italy, as the leader of the Rapid Deployable Corps, provides 75% of the personnel, the infrastructure and the field equipment for communications and support of the unit. Italy is supported by 14 nations, each providing its own personnel. Bulgaria, France, Great Britain, Greece, Holland, Belgium, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Spain, Slovenia, United States, Turkey and Hungary. Officers, non-commissioned officers and soldiers are a body of professionals with solid training and long experience matured during missions in crisis zones. They brilliantly passed the test in Afghanistan in 2005 and 2009 and on two tours of the NATO Response Force, NATO's Rapid Reaction Force. The Corps achieved full operational status in its first year after a difficult test conducted during Exercise Light Ship in December 2002. Since then it has been able to deploy around 2,000 men to crisis areas in any part of the world, guaranteeing the movement of the first elements to the area within five days of receiving the notice to move order. The command structure is complete in 30 days and exercises control over forces of up to 60,000 men operating in logistical autonomy where it is not possible to rely on local resources. However, the capabilities of the command structure are not limited to the management of forces in the field. NATO has also developed a capacity for interaction with non-military actors. NRDC ITA coordinates with international organizations such as the United Nations and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE, as well as with government organizations and local authorities. It works with non-government bodies and supports civil society in the area of operations during missions. The emblem of NRDC Italy comes from the Celere 3rd Division that operated on the Balkan and Russian fronts during the Second World War. The short sword, the eagle's head and the Latin motto Ubique Celere, everywhere rapidly, symbolically express the capacity for rapid deployment, command and control. The command is also a point of reference for national command structures and staff to improve interactions in the complex reality of the Alliance.
A total of 400 officers, NCOs and personnel from the Air Force, the Navy and the Carabinieri are also present in the command structure. But the real force multiplier is provided by the foreign personnel with special competencies and specializations in addition to the cultural characteristics of their home nations. The commander is a general from the Italian army. The deputy commander is a British divisional general. In the same way, all of the other staff positions are assigned to the contributing nations according to agreements between them and Italy. The Rapid Deployable Corps, led by Italy, can count on the support brigade which ensures logistical support and protection necessary during the exercise of command and control in times of both peace and war. The brigade is divided into two regiments. The 1st Signals Regiment, based in Milan, guarantees communications and the radio and satellite communications and telecommunications networks of the command structure. The Tactical Logistical Support Regiment, based at Solviate Olona, has the task of projecting the command structure into the area of operations and guaranteeing its security and logistical autonomy. The NATO Rapid Deployable Corps adds value to the territory through interactions with the surrounding communities via institutional relations, cultural exchanges and participation in courses and seminars. Particular importance is attributed to sporting activities, which improve interpersonal relations, but above all create a sense of being part of a team and a sense of belonging which is fundamental to success. Even in the activities aimed at families, the command structure has dedicated support for the needs of the military personnel in their private lives. The family support centre and the kindergarten are also open to the families of Sobiate Olona. All of this has only one aim to keep the command of the NATO Rapid Deployable Corps Italy ready to confront future challenges. Always ready, reliable and able to go wherever it is needed at short notice. Able to meet any threat and contributing to the protection of democracy in the world. <laughs>